Booktube and welcome back to my channel Aussie SFF. I am Sarah and this is Colin and we're coming at you today with a, another top five Wednesday and that is the top five books and I'm being a bit ambitious with this that I need to read. So I thought when putting together this list I would do a top five that's nice and ambitious that I wouldn't read all in a row so that I can tick them off slowly. So this is in no particular order. My first one is Neil Stevenson's Quicksilver, the first book in the Baroque cycle. I read Snow Crush years and years ago and I've been meaning to get back to Neil Stevenson for the longest time. I think there might even, yep, I did start this book and that's one of my bookmarks and didn't finish it for whatever reason, probably at the time uni. <laughs> I really, really, really like the way he writes and I really have to get back into that lot. Next one, something that's been on my to read list for about three or four years now, and that is Perdition Street Station by China Melville. I haven't read any of China Melville's stuff, but I have this distinct impression from seeing different interviews uh, I will really like it. Other than that, I have literally no idea what this is about. It is a massive tome, I know that much, but I'm, I've, as I said, it's been on my TBR for about three or four years. Much like this next one, which is The Wind Up Bird Chronicles by Haruki Miyakami. Again, it's not one I have anything I know about it, but I've read different bits and pieces, smaller volumes by Murakami and I really like the style um, and I have this distinct feeling I'm gonna love it. This next one has been on my 2BR list for a very very short time but I recently bought this book and that's the Leviathan, uh, sorry, Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. I watched the first season of The Expanse uh, I think I watched the second season as well. The third season, I believe, is out. I have to have a look. And absolutely loved it. It is amazing. So I'm definitely going to be loving this book. My last one, and I picked this one up because, because it said Hugo and Newton Nebula Award winning novel, and that is The Wind Up Girl by Pablo Back at Gallup. Gallup. P. <laughs> and I had a look at the back and went, yep, that sounds interesting. Just for the fact it's set in Bangkok. It's not set in London. It's not set in New York. It's not in America. That sounds amazing. Uh, one of the reasons why I really liked the Lunar Chronicles because it wasn't set in one of those massively everything is set in those sorts of towns. That is the lot for my top five books I really, really need to read. If you have any comments or questions, please hit me up in the comment section below. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Even if you like this jerk, yeah, you're a jerk. Uh, please. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and you'll see more of this little turn. <laughs> and happy reading. Bye.